It's Monday, November the 27th. Kia ora, hello. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us. The last Monday of November 2023. December kicks off on Friday. That is the start of the meteorological summer, but the astronomical date for summer starting, that's our circle around the sun, uh, doesn't kick off for another month, which might explain why the weather pattern still looks like spring as we head towards December. So still quite unsettled, low pressure zones on the map here and some really powerful high pressure zones as well. At the moment, we've got a mild nor'wester for the North Island and mild winds for many parts of the South Island after a hot weekend inland, but that's about to change. This southerly coming up here is about to move in and that will bring another temperature drop on Tuesday around the country. Let's kick off with the rain format. This is just for the next three days. At the end of this, we've got a seven day map for you. In fact, we've got two uh, rainfall maps to show you what the two different main models are basically saying. They're pretty much in, the, in line, but there are some slight differences to the North Island. We'll show you that at the end, but to begin with, the next three days ahead, not much for the North Island. The green and the yellows, top of the scale here, so a few showers coming through, just a couple of showers to maybe five to 10 millimeters at the very most. On the West Coast, that's where more of the rain will be, but for them, it's definitely not a news story. Uh, three days, and it's only building up to about 30 to 50 millimeters. So that is not newsworthy, but that is what is falling over there on the West Coast. So here is how Tuesday is setting up. You can see that wet weather along the western side of the country, along with that southerly change coming out from Tasmania. It was a bit of a cold day for Hobart on Sunday. Now that cooler air will reach New Zealand on Tuesday. So Invercargill, Dunedin, uh, Queenstown, Alexandra, all of you in between will notice that temperature change coming through on Tuesday. And then it will spread nationwide, although westerly winds to begin with means it's not overly cold for the North Island on Tuesday. By Wednesday, the southwesterly flow across the country. We've got a few showers in the east, not a huge amount. So even though you did get some rain at the weekend and it wasn't too problematic, thank goodness, uh, just a few showers quickly zipping through here for you on Wednesday and it will be a little cooler for you as well. Now, because this high pressure zone is so far south, further than it should be, it's allowing a vacuum of low pressure up here around Australia. Now, the good news with this as we move through the week is it drives in some wet weather to the southeastern corner of Australia where actually it's missed out. So that is some good news. On the New Zealand side, the good news is that we have some drier weather coming through um, with a bit more sunshine. The southwesterly winds get a little more mixed up on Thursday because the high pressure zone itself is a long way off from us, but also we don't really have anything around us. So not a lot of wind blowing around. It'll be very calm around the North Island and fairly calm in the south too. Most noticeable winds will be around Fovo Strait, Stewart Island, the Catlins and coastal parts of Southland. So by Friday, the interesting thing that happens here, high pressure covers New Zealand, so mostly settled. The pale blue, just the risk of a couple of showers. It doesn't look too significant at this stage. But this area of low pressure we've been talking about in Australia finally disconnects from Australia this coming weekend. So by Saturday, the low itself now offshore, that produces a few thunderstorms right along the coastal side, but it dries out through inland parts of Australia. And the reason I'm telling you this is because the low itself is going to detach from Australia finally, been there for a long time, and will now drift out towards New Zealand. But we've got this big blocking high. So that means on Saturday, a few showers up here in the north, maybe coming through from sort of Waikato or Auckland northwards. It won't be much. Looks mostly dry based on this map. Now by Sunday, still mostly dry around the North Island. The northerly winds, um, you'll feel them mostly in those coastal areas, a couple of showers around. And finally, it's a dry weather map for the most part for Australia as the system drifts out towards New Zealand and the rain now falls on the west coast. So we go a whole week from now and that low falling apart, the North Island missing out on it for the most part anyway, and west coast rain, what you see here in the east is mostly spillover from the mountains and ranges from the west coast. So it may not be very much. A little bit confusing though, you've got the rain spilling over from the west coast, but the winds locally might be an easterly. So that's going to be a little bit confusing for some of you, but that's how we are looking one week from now. Low pressure in the southern Tasman Sea, high pressure just to the south of us and to the east of us. So it's a messy spring-like pattern as we kick off the start of December. So rainfall, the next seven days ahead for New Zealand. This is from GFS, the American model. Now the pale blue you see on the map, 
When you zoom out globally, it makes a lot more sense. When you zoom in, it can be a little confusing, but it's the bottom of the scale. So any blue that's next to green or yellow, that doesn't count as much rain. So that's the whole North Island and the eastern side of the South Island. Heaviest rain over here, 80 to 120 millimeters on the West Coast. So that's what the American modeling is saying. This is the European modeling. It's very similar, but it does show the North Island getting more showery weather. And that puts you into that sort of 30 to 50 millimeter mark for some areas here, mostly around Waitomo, Taranaki, potentially the lower hills of uh, north of Wellington. But really, it still looks like the West Coast gets most of that rain. Generally speaking, when you zoom and look at this, there's not a lot of rain in the map. Uh, showers mostly here coming through and dry and mostly dry to the north and the east of the country. So we are definitely moving into a drier phase of weather. You may not feel it locally because you're still getting showers every couple of days. But the amount of rain that's falling, that's starting to drop now. And we are seeing that nationwide. So that is what many of you wanted. Uh, hopefully it's panning out just the way you want. Uh, we'll have our next update tomorrow, Tuesday. And don't forget this week, Climate Watch, our next Climate Watch. It's our last one for this year. We don't do one at the end of December, January. So um, start of January. So therefore, this will be the last one for 2023. And it's coming out this Wednesday. We'll take a really close look at how much rain we think might be coming to New Zealand this summer. Will our Nino bring drought to New Zealand? We'll try and answer that for you. And even though we don't have another Climate Watch for two months till the end of January, start of February, we will still have news updates on our website right across summer to keep you up to date. That's all from me for today, though. We'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday, with our next update. And of course, our next seven-day Pacific Islands update as well.